everybody, it's Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Thanks for joining me for today's science story time. Our story today is called Rainbow Fish to the Rescue by Marcus Pfister. Rainbow Fish to the Rescue. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there swam a school of fish. Not just ordinary fish, each one had a sparkling silver scale. Ever since Rainbow Fish had shared his scales, these fish had done everything together. They swam together, they played together, they ate together, they even rusted together, floating in the shadows of the reef. They were so happy together, they had no interest in other fish. So one day, when a little striped fish swam through their game of flash tag, they all stared at him. Hey, the little striped fish finally said, can I play too? It's flash tag, said one little fish, and you don't have a flashing scale. Do you have to have a special scale? The little striped fish asked. Of course you do, said the fish with the jagged fins. Come on, let's play, he called to the others. Don't worry about him. Then all the fish turned and went back to their game. Rainbow Fish hesitated. He was afraid of losing his new friends, so he didn't dare stand up to the fish with the jagged fins. Feeling a little ashamed, Rainbow Fish reluctantly swam off to join the others. The little striped fish floated all alone at the edge of the reef. He looked sad as he watched the game. The other fish were having such fun, darting and diving in the deep blue sea, their shiny scales sparkling. Rainbow Fish remembered what it felt like to have no friends and how lonely he had been when all the fish had ignored him. He had been so proud of all his glittering scales that he had refused to share them. No wonder nobody wanted to play with him. But now his friends didn't want him to play, and Rainbow Fish soon was caught up in the game. No one was paying attention when the danger entered the reef. Suddenly, a shark shot like an arrow into the middle of the school. The fish darted in every direction and managed to escape to their hiding place. In a narrow crack in the reef, the shark could not reach them. They were safe. But the little striped fish wasn't. Rainbow Fish couldn't keep still. He was so worried. What's wrong? asked the skinny fish. It's the little striped fish, said Rainbow Fish. He's all alone out there. We've got to help him. With that, Rainbow Fish left the safety of the hiding place. Let's go, he called. The other fish trembled with fear, but they knew what they had to do. They sped out of the crack after Rainbow Fish. They soon saw the shark, and there was the little striped fish swimming and spinning away from his jaws. Rainbow Fish could see that the little fish's strength was failing fast. Hurry, shouted the rainbow fish, and all the fish swarmed straight for the shark. This confused the shark because usually fish swim away from him. He turned this way and that, snapping right and left until he was dizzy. The shark almost got the fish with the jagged fins, but he escaped with just a few scratches. Quietly, rainbow fish led the little striped fish to safety. You are really brave, said the little striped fish. Thanks for saving my life. Together, they watched as the exhausted shark gave up and swam away. When all the fish returned safely to the reef, they welcomed the little striped fish. Why don't you stay and play with us, Rainbow Fish offered. How can I play flash tag when I don't have a shiny scale, asked the little striped fish. 
We can play fin tag instead, said the fish with the jagged fin. Touch a fin and you're it. All the fish cheered and then they swam off to play together in the deep blue sea. The end. Today for our science story time activity, we're gonna be making colorful iridescent bookmarks that remind me of the rainbow fish's super shiny scales and we'll discover more about nanoscience and the different properties of materials and light along the way. Nano is a super small word that's perfect because it represents something that is super small in size. A nanometer is a tiny unit of measure. Just like feet or inches or meters, a nanometer is even smaller. If you took a meter, a meter stick like this one, and you split it up into 1,000 even equal size pieces, each of those pieces would be a millimeter. A nanometer is even smaller. If you took one of those already small millimeters and divided that by a million more, each of those itty bitty pieces would be representative of a nanometer. That's how small nanometers are. That's more than a million times smaller than the width of a single strand of your hair. Nanoscience is really neat because it explores and studies how materials behave differently at different sizes, just like what we're gonna see happen when we make our rainbow fish inspired bookmarks. Let's get started. For this activity, you will need a few simple materials that you probably have around your house. You'll need a shallow dish or a pan filled about halfway full with water, black construction paper or cardstock, cardstock. Cardstock works the best, and then you're gonna to wanna to cut that up into strips. However thick or thin you wanna make them, these are gonna be your bookmarks. Then you're gonna need clear nail polish. You want just the basic regular formula, not fast drying, anything like that. A metallic Sharpie or permanent marker or just a pencil, something that will show up on the black paper, and then some paper towels just in case. To get started, what we're gonna do is first we're gonna decorate our bookmarks. You don't have to do this step, but I like to. I'm gonna draw a fish on mine, just like our friends in the rainbow fish story that we read earlier. Or you could write your name on one, whatever decoration you wanna do. Then you're gonna open up your nail polish. And this is really important. You wanna drip just one drop onto the surface of the water. Just one drop. Perfect. So from my angle, what I can start to see is a thin film on the top of the water in my dish. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is take your bookmark and you're gonna wanna slide it into the water. I like to start on one side and kind of dip it down underneath the surface all the way to the bottom of my dish, push it through the water, and then grab it from the other side. So now, what do you see? Is the nail polish still clear or do you see a rainbow? Now that the nail polish has spread out into a thin film on the surface of our bookmark, it's only a few nanometers thick or about as thin as the edge of a soap bubble. And because now we're able to see it, the material properties on a much smaller scale, we're able to see those colors bouncing off and reflecting back to us. Because the white light that is all around us is actually made up of all different colors of light or wavelengths, what we're seeing is those wavelengths bouncing back and reflecting based on the thickness or thinness of the film in certain areas. The inspiration for today's activity came from our nano mini exhibition at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Next time you're at the RMSC, be sure to check out this exhibit so you can see more about the super small world of nanoscale science and see some hands-on examples of how nanoscience, technology, and engineering are impacting our life. 
through super thin films in batteries, solar cells, electronic displays, and more. Thanks so much for joining me in exploring nanoscience and reading along with me today for RMSC's Science Story Hour. I'm Allison, and I hope to see you next time.